Good afternoon. Thank you for joining today's webinar for Chapter Champions. We're going to begin. Well, for those that are on the line, certainly welcome. Uh, Happy New Year to all. I'm going to start off with an apology, which is what we're never supposed to do uh, when we're having a presentation or a discussion. But uh, I have, do apologize for the delay in having this meeting. Uh, a lot really has been going on uh, within SMPS. Uh, within my situation, I just changed jobs in September, and I am now living in Virginia. Uh, a lot has been happening at SMPS. Uh, one of the things that has been happening over the past couple of months is we've been uh, fortunate to be having the opportunity to as we've been calling it, onboarding our new CEO, Michael Gary. Uh, and as a matter of fact, Michael may be on the call right now, and he may not, but if he is, uh, and he wants to say hello, I'll let uh, him have the floor for a minute. Uh, I am here, and first of all, I, I, did I just get blamed for their, this webinar being delayed? Was that <laughs> Sounds fine. like it. <laughs> Leadership comes with that, <laughs> with that responsibility. So. Um, I hope you're all were laughing because I can't hear you, but <clears throat> glad to be with you. I know I met many fellows at the Build Business Conference in August in Los Angeles and was <clears throat> excuse me, uh, really excited and thrilled to be part of this community then and even more so now um, that I'm formally involved and, and been on board since early October. So it's been, it's been just a few months, but it's been a terrific few months of getting to know the organization and meeting the people, and I've spent some time with uh, Tom and a few other fellows and uh, excited about what you're doing and thank you for what you're doing. You, you, you know chapters are the lifeblood of this organization and many others uh, who have a chapter based system. That's where our members really experience the society on, on the ground so to speak in their local communities or within their state. So it's important that we keep them strong, keep our chapter strong and engage and so thank you for all that. Um, I'm Happy to hear ideas as well offline. You can always reach me at michael at smps.org. And if you forget that, it's on the website, of course. Um, and I look forward to seeing you all at Build Business this coming August or another time as I'm traveling around the country and visiting with our chapters. And back to you. Thank you. Oh, not a problem. And I will start off by saying, in addition to blaming Michael now and also <laughs> to blaming myself, I uh, just want to let you know probably the biggest reason why we're a little delayed is that we actually took the time to reconnect with our chapters, our chapter presidents, and uh, with a survey to get their feedback on the chapter champion program. And when you look at this, the reason why we have this chapter champion program to begin with is it, it, it is about the chapters, it is about helping them, and we need to know how it's working for them. And I'm just going to simply turn it back over to Mary now because She's going to start sharing some feedback. Uh, and as far as time today, real quickly, there is another SMPS webinar that's going to be taking place at 2 p.m. Uh, I believe that some of you may be involved with that uh, webinar as well. So we are going to try to push this and make sure that we wrap up this session before 2 p.m. today. So moving forward, Mary, you've got it again. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Mike. And I want to introduce um, myself again. If uh, I know some of you are new to being a chapter champion, um, my name is Mary Cruz. I'm the vice president of chapter services and membership with SNPS headquarters, and I've been um, helping to manage the um, chapter champions program. Uh, we also have Natalie Gossard. Natalie is a chapter services manager with SNPS headquarters, and she will be taking um, a lead with the chapter champions program moving forward this year. So certainly, any questions that you have related to uh, connecting with your chapter regarding the forms, uh, the quarterly forms that we request, re request excuse me, the community, uh, or anything related to chapter champions. You can reach out to Natalie Gazer. She's a resource for you. And um, of course, I'll be here as well. So we welcome Natalie uh, to the program. Before we start, I just want to make sure everyone is aware how to use uh, GoToMeeting. I'm sure you are. You've been on many of these. Uh, but all lines are muted. If you have a question, you can choose to raise your hand by clicking the icon uh, that you see here, or you can uh, text, type a question into the question box, and we'll be sure to try to answer your questions as we go along. There will be an opportunity um, in the middle of the webinar to share uh, what 
what the activity you've had so far with your chapter, if you'd like to share. We just want to preempt you with that now. There will be time to do that. Um, just raise your hand and I'll unmute you and you can share uh, with us the uh, progress you've made with your chapter. Otherwise, we will have an opportunity, if time permits, at the, uh, end of the, rep the end of the webinar. Thank you. So as Tom spoke about why, why a chapter champions, uh, this role was created back in 2013. Uh, the board of directors, along with staff and other chapter leaders, uh, came together to try to find more support that we can provide to the chapters. The fellows are a great resource for our chapters, for the society, and we know that. So we wanted to make sure that we engaged our fellows and, and they provide the support uh, to the chapters in the society that we're looking for. So the purpose of the chapter champion is to actively engage the fellows as advisors, primarily and first and foremost as advisors and mentors to chapter leaders and the entire board of directors and volunteers of the chapter as senior level resource of the chapters and to hopefully support chapter growth and success. We're hoping that the chapter champions, you as fellows, will engage with the chapter. The two primary um, engagement factors are to engage the chapter president first and the board of directors. Reach out to them. Just simply a phone call, an email, maybe going to coffee uh, if, you're, if you're local to the, the chapter that you're serving. Um, ask them what they're looking for. What, how could you best serve them? Just as a mentor, maybe it's meeting once a month uh, to, to connect with them. Maybe they need help with their strategic planning a program or just to be that mentor, that person to call on in the time of need. So make yourself available to them, but find out what, how you can best serve them um, because every chapter does have different needs. So that would be um, first and foremost, reach out, get to know the pulse of the chapter, ask questions, and develop a relationship with the leaders. Mary, if I may just quickly add, don't assume, sure. by the way, that uh, every chapter president is going to reach out directly to you. That does not always happen. But the one thing that we can do as chapter champions is to make sure that we reach out to them and just make sure that they are on board with any help that we can provide or how we can provide that help. And that is something we are actually doing offline, so to say, to connect with the, cha uh, the chapter presidents to make sure that they know you are there and that who you are and who you are representing, who's representing them on the chapter champion program. Sorry, Mary. Go ahead. No, that's great. Thank you for adding that. It is absolutely true that we, um, at several points throughout the year, to various members, we will, through social media, through email, through communities, make sure they have the list of chapter champions. They, there's uh, also a list of ways that we've uh, collected over the years of ways that, so it gives the chapter ideas of how to engage in the chapter champion. So we make sure that's all available to them. And I know, Tom, you even conducted a call campaign last year. Uh, we reached out to the incoming presidents to make them aware of the position. So. We will, if you are struggling to connect with the president or anyone from their board, please let us know. Reach out to Natalie or I and we'll make that connection happen for you. So expectations of a chapter champion. Again, it's desire to give back to the society, sincere interest in chapter success. You know that you have um, a lot to give to the chapter and you're interested in seeing them succeed. Aspiration to serve as a mentor and advisor. A commitment to follow through. Making sure that you do have the time allotted and we know that uh, situations change. Uh, it, it can definitely change throughout the year and if you find that that time just isn't there for you, please let us know. It's, it's okay. We'll make sure we find someone uh, that can support the chapter. We know that um, that happens quite often. So reach out to Natalie and I and we'll make sure that um, we help you along the way if your situation should change. Um, participation on Chapter Champion quarterly calls, that's uh, the first one today. We'll have another one in April and again in July. And um, during the time, uh, making sure that you're connecting and you're reporting to us the activity you're having with the chapter. And you just want to submit that quarterly report. So I'm just going to give you a quick preview of what this report looks like. It's simply just an interactive PDF form uh, that you can fill out uh, what chapter you may be serving more than one chapter. Uh, which volunteer were you working with, the purpose of the support that you gave during that time frame, and then you'll see other questions here. So simply uh, completing this, and you can email it to us at any time. You don't have to wait until the next quarterly call, because Natalie and I would like to know what's going on um, as well from your conversations. So if there's action items for us, we can follow up. 
benefits to the chapter. Again, the chapter's feeling, the feeling of support is number one, that they know they have um, a lifeline, someone they can rely on, especially someone that um, has the history, that knows what's happened, you know, happened with the chapter in the past and knows the experiences. It creates strong leadership and understanding of those history and experiences. Hopefully we'll see membership growth so that the chapter can focus on um, really what's important to the chapter, moving programs along in membership and increase uh, membership and not maybe struggling with other um, situations that occur where they can get your help. Senior level programs, principal involvement, engagement, and enhanced chap chapter repu reputation. Now, again, Tom spoke to uh, some of the time that we've taken at the start of this year was really to get with uh, the current chapter presidents and past presidents. We reached out to find out how are they feeling about the role of chapter champion, what is, um, is it vital to them, has it been successful, do we need to readjust? So that was the purpose of taking that time at the start of the year to really reach out to them and, um, and hear what the, get their feedback. So, we were very pleased to see that 85% of the respondents, um, and we heard back from almost every chapter, 30 chapters. So 85% of um, are aware of the supportive role. 75, excuse me, 70% are involved. Um, their champion is involved within the chapter, and 65% said they do find the role valuable uh, to chapter leaders. And those that may have uh, rated a little lower than 60, you know, the va being valuable, really just needed to find the right niche. They needed to find the right type of support for the champion um, to be able to engage them. So it was still positive feedback. And here are some ways that the chapters uh, shared with us that their champion is engaged. They're serving as a mentor advisor, someone to call. That's number one. We heard that time and time again. They're sharing the chapter's history and experience. They're, they may assist with a member focus group. That's been very helpful with the chapters, having the fellows, uh, the champions serve um, and, and coordinate a member focus group to really get some um, targeted feedback from the different types of members. Also strategic planning, maybe helping facilitate that, walk through the board, help them um, facilitate that meeting. Participate in a workshop as a speaker or assist in a program. Um, searching out speakers, we know that you have a lot of connections as well, so it's helpful to the chapters um, to have you give some feedback on programs as well. This is just, uh, again, what we heard back on the survey, so we're very pleased with that, and thank you all for all that you've done so far. And Tom, I'm going to turn it back over to you to talk about the Wheaties champion. And actually, I'm just going to take one step back, Mary, and just mention mm -hmm. one other piece. And what I have sure. also been seeing for everybody is that a lot of the chapters are starting to include the chapter champion in their organizational charts. Uh, I think that's remarkable. I think that's just a way to make the chapters know that there is somebody at, at our position, our background that's there to help the chapters. And not to say that you're, it's required to be done, but if your chapter's not uh, showing you on the organizational chart, uh, I would encourage you to have a conversation about that so that more people are aware of your presence and aware that you're there and aware of what you can provide and help with. So, with that said, let's talk about the Wheaties Champion uh, for this particular session here today. Uh, what I'm going to do, and what I've been doing in the past, and I'm not going to change this today, is telling you a little bit about the person uh, that we, and has been selected, as this month's uh, Wheaties box cover. And there's a little bit more definition or explanation on the Wheaties box cover for this piece, but what I'm going to do is just share some information about this session, this this candidate at this time. And these are some of the pieces of information that reflects the individual, what their likes are, what their dislikes. As an example, this person's favorite meal is crab cakes, and the crab cakes are specifically from Fenwick Crab House. I'm sure some of you are going to start Googling where Fenwick Crab House is. Uh, last movie that the individual saw was Star Wars The Force Awakens the last book they read this was interesting AEC marketing fundamentals uh, and this is for the PSMJ book review how many different states has this individual traveled in uh, excuse me how many different states has this individual lived in they've pretty much been dedicated to the state they're in right now which is one state Favorite time of the year, autumn, pets, one dog. I'm not going to share you the name of the pet because it might tell you who it is. 
Any embarrassing moments we asked could they share? The answer was, how much time do you have? Question mark, how long have they been a member of SMPS? This, is the, this individual's time is 24 years. A couple of other quick comments for you just to give you some teasers, and we'll talk a little bit more about the individual in a little bit. Uh, favorite mixed drink? Not just margarita, it's margarita baby. Ever been overseas? Mm -hmm. England, France, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Bahamas, Canada, Mexico. Canada's overseas, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, favorite TV show? Sunday night football. Favorite snack? Chocolate. Favorite gastro food? food? Anything with carbs or bacon. Now, when we, get, when we get to announce something here, we will ask if anybody has an idea of who this might be, but we're going to wait and we're going to go on to the next slide, Mary, please. Okay, so um, at this point, if anybody has a question or would like to raise your hand to share uh, some activity that you uh, have had with your chapter so far, or maybe you have a question at this point, um, I can certainly unmute you and give you the floor. You can also uh, type us a question. I don't see any hands raised at this point. Um, in order for me to unmute you, you will have to type in your PIN number, your audio PIN. And there will be an opportunity for other feedback or comments to share coming down, but there are no reports for this session that we have. So that's why if there was somebody that wanted to talk about what they were doing or what's been happening with their chapter, here's an opportunity to do so. Otherwise, we're just going to move right along, and uh, towards the end of the program, there will be another opportunity to ask questions or share as well. Nancy Ursery did say, margaritas and crab cakes, what's up with that? So she did share a little bit on that. <laughs> okay, so moving along, I don't see any other hands raised at this point, but you will have opportunity as Tom shared. I'm going to turn it over to Natalie now to talk about where to find resources that can help you um, as a chapter champion. Hi, champions. This is Natalie Gossard. We have loaded almost all, I'd like to say, of the resources that you'll need to assist you uh, within your chapter champion community of my SMPS. So this community exists for you all. It's a private community. It's in my SMPS, and we are currently adding you all this week, so please look for an invite. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me or Mary. We'd be happy to help you. We can walk you through the community if you're not familiar um, of all that it has to offer. It's an excellent resource. As I said, it's a private community. You'll find all the resources, tools, and important documents. We've saved them in the library. Now, for example, Mary's opening up a few right now. Um, now, when you're in front of your chapter boards or you're speaking to some of the volunteers, we've loaded in the resources that you might need. So, for example, we have the Power of SMPS presentation, very useful. Um, we have the Chapter Champion Reporting Form. Mary's going to touch on that for you all after this, but this is where you can locate the form. We have previously conducted champion webinars. Um, if you're interested in looking for some ideas, you can access these previous webinars. We are in the process of loading the brand new 2016 SFD criteria. If you're not familiar, I believe most of you are already, but the Striving for Excellence is our awards program that recognizes chapters for excellence um, in their management and service to their members. Um, so many chapters actually make this criteria focused for their year and it guides them in their strategic planning. So as champions, you can use, take a look at and review some of the previous submittals of the SFEs and just as good examples of what chapters are doing and perhaps you can share them with your chapter or we encourage you to certainly review the a previous submittal of the chapter which you're a champion. You can really get a great idea all the, all the ideas are packed into one, one award submittal, so it's, it's a really good way to get to know your chapter even better. Um, we also have within this, this community, this is where we store all the current and previous chapter statistical reports. One of the benefits of using my SMPS is that we have all of the information archived, so it's just a one, really a one-stop place for you to go in and you can access reports from the past. We have everything in there. 
also within this community is we have stored the chapter manual. And if you're not familiar with that, I'll give Mary a chance to open that up for you. The sections, um, communications, education and certification, finance and administration, governments, and strategic planning. Again, this is a very useful guide um, for you if you're not familiar with it. I recommend that you, that you read through it and certainly do share this with your chapter and encourage them to use it. So as you can see, this really is the one place that you can go in addition to, of course, always calling Mary and me um, for any information that you might need or anything that you, that you anticipate needing. If you find a document that you would like to share, certainly please pass it on to us and we will um, put it into the community. And I, did, I don't believe I, I mentioned that this community also facilitates a discussion thread, so it serves as a listserv, so you can communicate with other champions and with the staff here at SMPS, and then the message threads are archived, so it's very, very useful. That's a great point, Natalie. So, you know, making sure to, if you have, you know, if you have something immediately you want to share, you don't have to wait just to send us a report. Share it with all chapter champions because it gives, you know, others an idea of, oh, I should, maybe I could do that with my chapter. Maybe, um, I know Karen Courtney and Holly Bolton started a, um, I think they have a um, fellows blog on their uh, Columbus, or excuse me, Indiana chapters website. So they're blogging about things that are happening in the industry, new trends, and, and anything related to the chapter but that's a way that they're communicating with their chapter and its members. So uh, many of the champions are doing great things. So this is a great place, that, um, as Natalie mentioned, to share under discussions. You just simply click on that tab and it'll take you right to um, a, like a listserv. You can post it and it just goes to the community of chapter champions. So um, great, great item to point out. Thanks, Natalie. Sure. And we are still in need of some champions. So please note that you do not have to reside in the geographical area of a chapter in order to be that chapter's champion. So phone calls to a chapter lead with to chapter leaders are perfectly acceptable. So currently we have 10 chapters that are without champions and those chapters are listed here. Now Mary and I are going to be reaching out to fellows within these chapter um, areas first to gauge if there's any interest in serving as a champion. But certainly, if any of you current champions have a recommendation, please do let us know and, and we'll reach out to other fellows to see if they would be interested in serving. Mary, you want to take it from here? Sure. And um, again, to touch on, um, I know a couple of the fellows um, also are serving um, multiple chapters, and we are trying to work to just make sure that you're covering one. Um, I know, um, for instance, Tom Smith is covering a couple of um, California chapters. We have prospects, uh, fellows that we'll be reaching out to, but certainly if you have someone you can recommend, um, let us know, and um, we'll make sure to reach out. So a quick few, a few housekeeping items is I, I did mention the report form, so I showed that to you already. Again, it's located. We'll be emailing it out just so you have a copy on hand. You can keep it on your, in your own files. But send those to us as activity happens with the chapter. Just go ahead and forward them on. We'll have them on file. We'll be looking through those uh, prior to the next call so that we can, one, follow up with the chapters and see, um, especially if there's something, maybe a challenge that's happening or some great programming, something else that's taken place that we really really want to highlight for the chapter. We can see that in advance and react quickly to it. Um, also, we'd like to call out for the Wheaties box. So we want to make sure uh, those chapter champions that are doing great things that we recognize them as well. So get us those forms. Uh, send those to Natalie Gossard, Natalie at SMPS.org. Our next quarterly breakfast will be in April. We'll send out a go to meeting for that. And the Society Business uh, webinar coming up, it's um, in 2016, for the coming year, 2016, it's a webinar for all volunteers, all chapter volunteers. So we're going to make sure to invite also the chapter champion. So you'll receive an invite to this call, which is on January 19th from 1 to 2 Eastern Time. And uh, Paula Ryan, the chapter, uh, excuse me, society president, uh, Michael Geary, and uh, some of the staff of SMPS will be going through uh, current initiatives, the state of the society, things that are going on, and resources for volunteers. So this will be helpful for you to hear uh, so that you can take it back to your chapter as well. And I'm going to turn it over to Tom now to give you a fellows update. Yeah, it, it's good to talk about some of the things that are actually in the works and to give you a quick update. I know we can't have a lot of dialogue on these items 
And the only thing that I would suggest and encourage you to do, if there are really questions that you have on some of the information I'm going to provide you, do not hesitate to call me. Do not hesitate to send me an email. And I can elaborate a little bit more on all of these. Uh, the one thing that I'm going to start off with is the AIA presentations. I know we've talked and mentioned this before, but we do have the domains approved by the AIA to take nationally uh, across the U.S. and to be able to work with your chapters to have them connect with the local AIA chapters. And this is going to be something that is not going to be available to everybody to present. Uh, it certainly will be available to the fellows, but I'm going to say right now the fellows still have to be vetted for this. And in order to be vetted, it's not going to be a difficult process, but there is going to be a 10 to 15 minute uh, presentation that you're going to need to sit through on the expectations of these presentations, because the one thing, especially since this is covered nationally by AIA, we're going to be, we're going to need to be consistent with each of our presentations, not to the point where we can't share personal stories, but the content that we're going to present cannot be modified or manipulated in a fashion that it suits individuals. It's got to suit SMPS because this is an SMPS program. The other thing I'm going to mention is that uh, this coming board meeting uh, uh, this month, uh, we're going to be reviewing some of updates to the fellows application revision. Uh, this is one of those items where I'm going to suggest that you got questions, give me a call. Uh, one of the things that we're trying to do is be consistent with the use of CPSM. Uh, this does not apply to those individuals, fellows that exist right now that are, uh, that have their fellows designation. But this is going to be moving forward, and we want to be consistent with how we're looking at the CPSM process and maintaining that CPSM. And that's going to be probably a vote that's going to happen this coming month, it's been a couple of weeks. And we're looking forward to making sure that how we present ourselves, not just within SMPS, but outside as part of an outreach to the professional organizations that work with us, what it means for us to be fellows as well. The other thing I'm going to mention is that the new fellows program, uh, we are looking at doing something more than our typical annual two-hour stint on the symposium that takes place uh, once a year at our national conference. One of the things that we tie into the fellows process is the importance, I'm not going to say to educate the fellows, but to provide more engaging programs for the fellows to participate in. And we are going to be creating a budget for the 2017 year uh, where we have money set aside, where we can figure out what we can do with a conference, maybe a one-day conference that's going to be accessible to just fellows, how that program is going to work. That'll be more than just an hour and a half to two hour of discussion, uh, enlightenment, uh, focus on what's happening in the market, things that we can benefit from, that's going to be looked at and we're going to have the money set aside as part of our budget for next year so that in the summer of 19, 2017, whoa, 19, in the summer of 2017, we will have an event plan and hopefully it'll be an annual event that we can do that will be specifically focused on the fellows. We can move to the next slide. Okay. Uh, before I reveal who our champion is, uh, our Wheaties box cover, did anybody have any guesses, by the way? Did anybody submit any guesses as to who this might be? I think um, I did not receive, hold on, I've got one from Cindy Jackson. She said Rolf Fusler. Okay. Any more? I do not see any hands raised. That was just a one guess. I think it was pretty tough. Okay, well, um, maybe we need a drum roll, but this year's or this month's breakfast of Chapter okay. Champion. Did you like that? <laughs> sorry. Did that work? Go ahead. I'm sorry. It made my ears feel good. <laughs> uh, it is Scott Butcher. Yay! And 
what I'd like to do, by the way, is, is this is some information that we got from the chapter. And we got some information from the chapter last year, and we had it updated. But this is the type of information that's great to hear. It means that we are being successful with the chapters. The chapters appreciate what we're doing. But I'm going to read to you very quickly uh, what I heard back from uh, Central Pennsylvania, where Brooke Winger and uh, Jackie Foster, couldn't remember mm -hmm. Jackie's name there for a second, provided me some feedback. This first comes from uh, Brooke. Requirements of a successful chapter champion, which is a quote from, a from HQ, I say society, desire to give back to the society, sincere interest in the chapter's success, and commitment to follow through. The answer was Scott Butcher, Scott Butcher, Scott Butcher. Our Central Pennsylvania chapter is very fortunate to have Scott in our corner, whether as a presenter, a photographer, or a confidant and friend. Scott's dedication has been proven time and time again since his involvement with the creation of the chapter affiliate of the chapter of the Philadelphia chapter in 1993. It's been my pleasure to be guided, encouraged, and challenged by Scott. His experience and selfish service to the growth and success of others makes him the perfect chapter champion for us. Coming from Jackie, and is there a picture, by the way, from uh, that we can show from the chapter, the, the photo of the chapter board? Yes, here we go. This is something Scott did for the chapter. And by the way, I think Scott's dressed up in there somewhere, but I'm not going to tell you who it is. <laughs> uh, I will be brief, although I could go on for days and how fantastic our chapter champion Scott Butcher is. Scott is not only a great mentor to all of us who have put on the president pen, he has also been a huge supporter of our chapter, of our members for many years before he became the champion. He has been a panelist, a speaker at least once a year for several years. He volunteered to be our event, event photographer for our first and second annual Golfing for Business AEC golf outing. Attendees loved getting a copy of a professional photo of the foursome from their chapters. He was also their official photographer for their rock star themed SFE submittal in the spring of 2014. This is that themed SFE submittal. He really made us look like the real deal when you can see from this photo. Incidentally, we did not use this actual cover for SFE, SFE because of the use of the word billboard but Scott has this mock-up in our email bins when we all got back to our offices and made all of us feel like bad asses. <laughs> Above all, Scott is someone that all of us know that we can go to with a question, need advice, or just plain talk to a friend. We could not ask for a better chapter champion. Listen, those types of things from my standpoint are phenomenal. That's what, to me, means that we are making a difference with the people that we're working with and why this chapter champion program that got started years ago, a few years ago, uh, and, and how the vision I believe that Carla Thompson had for it, this tells me that that dream is coming true. And with that, I just simply want to say thank you all for working with the chapters. And Scott, I don't know if you're able to be on the phone or not, and if you are, I'm sure you're crying. But thank you very much for the work that you're doing in central Pennsylvania. And Secret may be also involved in Maryland now as well. So, Scott? Tom, I, Tom I'm, I'm here. You're, you're breaking news to me. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but thank you. It, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun working with the chapters because, you know, you all remember how you were in the early days of SMPS when you got involved on the committees and at the board level and how energetic you were. And I found, you know, personally being the champion has been very rewarding and that sort of reinvigorated me and given me a lot of the, the youthful energy that they have. So it's, uh, it's really a two-way street, I believe. Well, Scott, certainly thank you very much. Obviously, uh, 
you know, the, the Wheaties box. And by the way, before I forget about it, we're going to have the Wheaties box fixed. We've been having some technical issues because for some reason or another, somebody decided to upgrade all the computer systems at uh, uh, headquarters in uh, Alexandria. So with that, it created some problems with the Wheaties box for right now. But we will get you your photo of your Wheaties box, Scott, because I know you want to have that on your front door when people come into the, your office. It'll go right by that billboard cover. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Scott, very much. Okay, now here again we go back to the question and opportunity time again. Uh, if there's something that anybody would like to share, uh, again, with their experience with their chapter, if there are questions or comments, uh, I encourage you to ask, talk right now. Okay, I'm seeing, I'm looking for raised hands. Um, everybody just definitely gave accolades to um, to Scott. I think it's great. And Craig Park, I'm going to unmute you. Go ahead, Craig. Hey, I just wanted to say and, and encourage, uh, if you have not, <clears throat> I've been a chapter champion for Omaha for a couple of years, and one of the areas in talking to the past couple of presidents uh, where the value of the fellows uh, was most noted was participating in their strategic planning process. So let them know that that's something you're willing to either facilitate or participate in, because I think it really provides a, a lot of uh, good input and history and perspective. Ditto. Thank you, Craig. Betty Hearn, I'm going to go ahead and unmute you. Go ahead. Uh, we recently had Tom Towns in Atlanta for a business trip, and I was able to put him with the fellas in our area for a meeting and also with the board. So that was a great rewarding time together. Tom did a great job on um, catching everybody up to date and getting opinions on things, and it was a lot of fun just to be together. Thank you, Betty. Other questions, other comments? Not at this time. I don't see any other hands raised. Well, I'm just, unless Mary, you've got something you can certainly add on to this, but again, this program is not successful without the people that participate. Uh, it is extra time. Uh, it's not as difficult, I think, as some of us may perceive it to be. And it may be very busy as well based on the chapter that you're working with. But there are still the areas of multiple areas that you can help with. Uh, Craig mentioned one of those as well. Uh, encouraging you to do that, I think, actually benefits them in a lot of different ways. But just so you know, uh, I need to make sure that you're all thanked very much about what you're doing, how it's happening, and I want to see this continue to grow. And Carla, if you're on the phone, thank you for making this happen. I'm not sure if Paula was involved in that, but if Paula, you were there too, thank you for doing that as well. Great. Thank you, Tom, for your support and all the chapter champions. We look forward to working with you again this year. Um, we will go ahead and end the webinar. We have made a recording of this, so we'll send it out to all champions uh, if you need to listen to it again, and we'll forward that along with some other documentation. Thank you all for your time today, and we will go ahead and end the webinar now. Thank you.